Hello, everybody, and welcome. Man, I didn't even check the episode. I think it's like 129, maybe? 127. So I was off by a little bit. It's actually 128. We're on episode 128. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. The purpose of these videos is to document our journey through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience. I like to call the Gateway Experience a scientific, repeatable process of self-discovery, self-exploration, and ultimately self-mastery or self-actualization. It consists of a total of 36 different tapes that build up upon each other, and they're divided into six waves. Uh, the first wave is called Discovery. The second wave is called Threshold of Change. It's just called Threshold, but it's a Threshold of Change. The third one is called, the one that we're on now is Freedom. Um, the, um, I think this is right. Let me just double check. The fourth one is called Adventure, I believe. Did I get that right? Yes, Adventure. And then the fifth one is called Exploring. And the sixth one is called odyssey so we are currently on the third wave like i mentioned and um we are on the third tape called the vectors tape today was the since it's episode 128 it was the fifth day doing this tape so if you haven't seen any of my other videos go ahead and check those out that way you can see the entire journey so far if you like this video or whatever you want to do really let's get into it so right now it is 10 16 a.m and i woke up this morning at five and then i hit snooze and then i woke up again after that and then i hit snooze and i hit snooze a bunch of times until it was like 5 40 and i was like well it's still five so i'm still good <laughs> so let's go ahead and get up um yeah so it's not five o'clock but i have to challenge myself and the reason why I'm mentioning this the first thing is because I always do and second because I was reading something that I really liked and it's not the first time I've read it uh, but I think it's very powerful and this something is that your mind your mind is so powerful it's all about your mind okay and I can give you so many different examples, but I'm just going to give you the punchline. And it's whether you want to believe it or not, it's up to you. Just remember that this is true. Okay? Your mind is so powerful that all you have to do is convince your mind of something. And then your body will follow. I said I wasn't going to give you that many examples, but I'm going to give you one. The one that I like the most. Okay? If I was to tell you... If I was to tell you right now, hey, what did I just do? Did I just do some kind of, what is that? That's, that was just me trying to focus the camera. So don't worry. Come on, stop. This is like a cheapo camera, so um, it's just a little webcam. But the best example that I like is, think of a lemon, okay? A nice, juicy yellow lemon and <clears throat> you get a nice sharp serrated has to be serrated serrated knife and you just go to town on cutting that lemon in half okay you're just sawing back and forth just whoosh 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 and you can see all of the little lemon zest just pop it off of this lemon as you're sawing and sawing and you see a little the the juice the droplets of this sour sour a little sweet but sour sour juice come out and you pick it up and you take a little taste okay that's it after you've cut it you just take a little taste of the juice i don't know about you but my mouth is watering like straight up just from telling you this like Obviously, I'm talking, but like if you really did that imagination in your head, think of your favorite food. Oh my God, my stomach is grumbling. You know, that's what I'm talking about. So that's the reason why I don't care that much if it's like 
550 or 540 or 530 or whatever. I just need it to be five. I need to condition my mind, my body to, my mind then my body to just five is the time that I wake up. So that's why it doesn't matter that much, you know? So yeah, it's all about what you want to create. So that's what you want to focus on. But, uh, but yeah, then I went ahead and did my morning routine and um, I did the tape for the fifth time and um, then I fell asleep. <laughs> Right? I fell asleep. So just, you know, it is what it is. And um, I went to sleep last night at 11. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. So this video, uh, you know, uh, I didn't fall asleep for the whole tape. Okay, I actually did fall asleep. This is the interesting part about it. Okay, the interesting part about it is that I didn't fall asleep while I was doing the tape. Okay. But I could tell that my focus and my energy was not there and my body needed sleep. That's what this tape told me because as I was doing the 12, 3, 6, 9, walking it out and really perceiving the vectors of my resonant energy balloon so that I can become familiarized in the out-of-body experience, as I was doing that and as I did it for the entire tape, I found myself losing focus. I found that I decided to just honor myself for the long term because I've done it so many times where I push myself so hard. I get two, three, four, five hours of sleep a night for two, three, four, five, six months and it's just not sustainable. It's not fun. It just messes me up personally, but that's only because my mindset is not 100% there because I was afraid of that happening again. You see what I'm saying? So this is what we need to do. It's just about showing up and I'm just gonna keep showing up. I'm gonna keep cranking these videos out. It's the first thing I do every morning and I'm gonna keep doing everything I need to do. Now it's 10.21 a.m. I've been recording this for seven minutes and I hope you can see that this journey is all about that. And talking, okay, you have to talk, you have to communicate, you have to get out of your brain which has limited capabilities. You gotta use this and this right here, which is much more powerful. So that's all I'm gonna say for today's video. If you wanna communicate with me, let me know in the comments down below. There's a cat on the roof. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.